What is going on, Swoopers? Welcome back to another episode of Swoop Luke. In this special episode, I'm going to be trying to do these sort of things once a week, possibly on Wednesday, which is when I hope this video drops. We are going to be looking at uh, our coaches uh, who can, sorry, potentially coach us in 2022. It's going to be a tier list. It's going to be great. It's going to be a little bit of fun. I know you guys will have uh, your thoughts on it, so I can't wait for that, but let's do it. Before we do start, be sure to follow me on all my social media accounts, Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter, all Swoop Luke. If you are a new Super, welcome back. Thank you so much for joining us. Be sure to hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, and if you are a, and if you are a returning Super, welcome back. Thank you so much for rejoining me. Let's jump over to this tier list. I should be pushing up down below. All right, so we've got our lists here. Yes, God, please. That's like A grade. Could be great. So that's a bit of an untried, bit of a, uh, you know, obviously could be great. The next one is left field, so that's going to be an interesting one, if all else fails. So that's pretty much, we can't get anyone else, this is the guy that we go for, or it could be a good assistant, and no, 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 is like, please, God, no, no, insert that uh, scene from The Office. Oh no, God! No, God, please, no! 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 So the first guy we're going to be looking at is Mark Choco Williams. So Mark Williams actually used to play for Collingwood. I'm pretty sure he captained the Pies as well. So it would be bringing another Collingwood figurehead um, to their head coaching role. At the moment, he's at Melbourne as their head of development, was at uh, GWS. The Tigers as well, coached Werribee for a little bit. Look, Mark Williams would be a bit of a, a left-field choice. Look, And obviously, he coached Port to, that, uh, to their maiden uh, premiership. Um... It would be a left field choice, but I'm going to put him into the if all else fails category, mainly because I don't think he's the guy that's going to be sitting there for, for five years. You know, he could be the guy that is, you know, if we do go for him, he could see out over a younger uh, a younger coach. So, you know, someone who it could have been, you know, Sam Mitchell or it could be John Syracuse or, or something like that, if you, if you know what I mean. Um but if all else fails, but could make a good um, head of coaching sort of thing. So the second guy we're going to be looking at is uh, Don Pike. He used to be at Adelaide, he used to be Adelaide's head coach. Now he's at Sydney's midfield. Justin Longmuir came out and said that... Um, God. John Longmire came out and said that Don Pike has radicalised their um, midfield. And you can tell because they went from a bottom six side to pretty much nearly a top four side, Sydney. Um but from all that I've heard and from talking to Adelaide supporters, Don Pike obviously coached them to a 2017 um, grand final, but that list was handed to him. He oversaw that debacle of, of a um, uh, preseason camp that had every single Adelaide player pretty much leave and be upset about. The only kind of credential he's got now is that Sydney uh, coaching job, but I'm going to put him in the no, no, no uh, territory. So the next guy here is Brad Scott. Brad Scott has been out of the game for a while. He, you know, he coached Kangaroos pretty well for the list that he had. I'm pretty sure a couple of prelims they got to. Correct me if I'm wrong on that one. But Brad Scott is in the same sort of territory as Don Pike to me. Um... And even, you know, it could be if, if all else fails as well. Mainly because, not because I, I don't like him as a coach, but I don't think he, you know, he did coach he did coach Collingwood. He assistant coach at Collingwood under Mick Moldhouse. So that kind of helps him. You know what? We're going to put him in the left field um, category because for what he did with Rich uh, Kangaroos' poor list, that's great. It could be great. All right, so current caretaker coach, Robert Harvey. We are going to put halves in the no, no, no. I'm not even hesitating. No, no, no. Not because he's doing a bad job right now, but because he was Buckley's assistant for 10 years. We're playing the same sort of game plan. Of course, caretaker coach is not going to radic radicalize the um, whole entire structure and stuff like that. But 10 years, I don't like... Um, it's just like having Buckley 2.0. You know what I mean? So... We're going to put him in the um, no, 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 no category. 
So the next one is left field, straight up. Adam Uze, he was at Hawthorne uh, under Alistair Clarkson as a, an assistant. Now he's at uh, Melbourne, so he's back home at the D's. By all accounts, he is a fantastic people's person. He can get a lot out of um, the players and stuff. So this would be a left field choice because not a lot of people talk enough about Adam Uze. So he's just going about it really slowly. But, you know, um, but power to him. Adam Uze as well. He was uh, in line for the Adelaide coaching job in 2019. Uh, and he has completed his level four accreditation of uh, coaching. So that does hold in good stead. So the next guy... This guy doesn't get talked about a lot, and I don't know if he's in um, super, super contention, but Nigel Lappin, who was a, a Brisbane Premiership player, three premierships at Brisbane, he has been at Geelong as an assistant coach for 13 years. He was there for the 2009 Premiership, the 2011 uh, Premiership as well. Uh, he's been a development coach, a midfield coach, and now he's the coach of their um, ball movement. And look how good Geelong are doing this year. So... I'm going to put Nigel Lappin as could be great. It could be great. Yes, I know two of their premierships were against uh, Collingwood, but that commands respect. Five premierships he's been involved in. Insane. So another guy that doesn't get talked about enough is uh, Daniel John Syracuse, a Bulldogs champion. He got named um, Assistant Coach of the Year in 2020. He was a part of like um, the Bulldogs stoppages, their forward line, their set plays. Coach Footscrows VFL. Now he's at Essendon working at their midfield and on their... Uh, Stoppages and stuff like that. And look how well, you know, Essendon are doing. They're not setting the world on fire, but they're playing exciting football. And that happens with um, Daniel John Syracuse. And look, we could, we could, and wouldn't you want to appoint the best looking coach in the AFL? You could have the best looking coach in the AFL, right? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, I'm going to put him as could be great because he looks really, really good. Um, his coaching credentials look really good uh, on the same, not, not as obviously the premiership coaching credentials. But what he's been able to do, assistant coach of the year in uh, 2020 as well. Another guy could be great is Justin Lepich. What he's done to the Tigers, obviously three premierships at Brisbane. Yes, uh, he said he might not want to coach again. There's a lot of things on him, so he pulled back um, the Tigers' assistant coaching role. But he coached the Tigers to, I'm pretty sure, three premierships, two or three premierships, and then three premierships as a Brisbane Lion player. So that's five or six premierships all up. He did coach Brisbane. He is an ex-coach. He got really, really stiff at, um, at Brisbane with the list and stuff like that. Um, but he could be great from what he's been able to do at the Tigers. The so next in line is Craig McRae, currently at Hawthorne. Another triple premiership uh, Brisbane Lions player on this list. That's like four. Oh, my God. Um, five. Holy shit. Um, so Craig... Was at Richmond 2007 to 2009. Uh, he did stints back up in Brisbane. And he did come to Collingwood for a little bit as well. Found his way back to the Tigers in 2016. Coached them to uh, coached the VFL side to 2017 and 2019 Grand Finals. Won the Premiership in 2019. And was a development alongside uh, Damien Hardwick for the uh, AFL side. He could be um, a little bit of a sleeper. I'll put him as left field. And he's currently training under... Um, Alistair Clarkson, of course. So that's going to be um, great. But uh, yeah, bit of a bit of a left field uh, prospect for me. This guy, bang, God, please, yes, Alistair Clarkson, the greatest coach uh, in modern football. The way he goes about it, um, it's just phenomenal. You know, with Sam Mitchell as well, he says he wants to coach next year. But if you could say, look. His a five-year contract to just dismantle this team, take it apart, make it your own. It not only will he not be a, a Collingwood person, respect of the game. What's that? He's won four or so or something premierships at Hawthorne. Four or five premierships at Hawthorne. Nah, I'm pretty sure it's four. But just the way he, he, he went about it those years, Hawthorne were formidable. And they did some of those without Buddy as well. So... Look, and it's not even that, yeah. It's the way he, everyone kind of goes um, under him and comes and comes out the other side as, as great coaches. That's what he's able to produce. Imagine what he can do with the Collingwood side that, uh, that we currently have. Would be insane. So I would drop everything to uh, get Alistair Clarkson. 
Uh, another one. Look, I'm going to put Michael Voss as could be great. Now, hear me out. He was a Brisbane Lions player, obviously. Three premierships. Uh, captain of Brisbane. Coached Brisbane after Lee Matthews. Anyone who came in after Lee Matthews, another great coach of the game, was 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 doomed. Yeah? So, he got stiffed as well, like Lepic. Um, but, what he's been able to do with Port Adelaide's midfield has been uh, great. Everyone just talks highly of him. They can't talk highly enough of him. And by all reports, he's one of the guys that we're really, really looking at uh, getting. So that would be amazing if, if we could land Michael Voss. Comes in, walks through the door like Lepic, like Lapham would do, and like McRae would, McRae, and even Brad Scott. Nah, but you know what? No, like, like Lepic could only do, and maybe like Lapham could do, walk in immediately, demand and command respect. Three premierships, uh... Brownlow, I'm pretty sure Voss has, correct me if I'm wrong, but just the presence he has about him would absolutely love him uh, as a Collingwood because he doesn't have ties to Collingwood. I love a person with no ties to Collingwood. Uh, uh, look, no, 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 no. Ross Lyon, no, 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 no. He wouldn't be there for five years. He would want to try and win the premiership in the next year, which would be good, but it won't happen. Uh, it just, It just won't happen. So Adam Kingsley... This is a, this could be a yes God please tier or it could be great tier. Um, look, we're gonna put him in the could be great tier, uh, mainly because we haven't seen a lot of him. But what he's been able to do, he was in line for the Adelaide coaching job before it went to Don Pike. He was in line for the Adelaide coaching job again before uh, Nick's got it. Also, he was an assistant coach at St Kilda, but he's been part of Richmond's midfield in 2019, 2020. When they went back to back this year, he's coaching their defense. Richmond's midfield for the last four years has been phenomenal, especially you know 2019, 2020 when they dominated the competition, all pretty much because of Kingsley. So, if he's the guy that we pick, he will just transform Collingwood into a Richmond dynasty. Hopefully, that would be absolutely amazing, you know. But look, guys, that is. That is my list. There's a million other coaches that could be, but these are the guys that I kind of sounded out, 13 of them. Would love to know all your thoughts. If we can't get Clarko, who do you want? Is there someone not on the list? Let me know. Let me know what other tiers you would like me to make if you wanted me to react to any sort of things. I would love to do all that stuff. Like I said, this is going to be a once in a week thing. A little bit of fun. No previews, no reviews. Let's just uh, get into this. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you've made it this far, like, comment, subscribe. Tell your family, tell your friends, tell your pets. And until next time, double shakers. I'll sweep you later.